In this video, I will be discussing how to implement logistic regression machine learning model using Python and sklearn library. After completing this tutorial, you will not only learn about logistic regression algorithm, but also you will be able to train the model using Jupyter Notebook. Logistic regression is a machine learning algorithm used for classification problem. There is a function named logit that is used in the logistic regression model. The term logistic in the name of logistic regression is taken from the logit function. Also, it should be noted that though the logistic regression is a classification algorithm, its name has the word regression in it. It is named as logistic regression because its underlying technique is very similar to linear regression. The column values that are used to predict the output are called features or independent variable. And the column value that is predicted is called dependent variable or label. A machine learning problem is called a classification problem when feature variables are continuous in nature and target variable is in categorical form. For example, predicting diabetes as target variable using blood pressure and glucose label in blood as features. The answers to these problems are in categorical form. For example, yes, the patient has diabetes or no indicates patient doesn't have diabetes. As there are only two classes, yes or no, it is called binary classification problem. Note that we may come across a classification problem having more than two classes. These type of problems are called multi-class classification problems. Before we proceed further, we should discuss three concepts used in this tutorial. First concept is difference between linear regression and logistic regression. Linear regression is used when our target variable is continuous in nature, for example, height, numbers, price, etc. However, logistic regression is used when the target variable is having two or more classes, for example, yes and no, true and false, classes from 1 to 5, classes indicating integer from 1 to 10, etc. Linear regression used the ordinary least square method to minimize the model prediction error. Logistic regression uses maximum likelihood method to minimize the model prediction error. The concept is depicted with the help of the images shown on your screen. Note that both linear regression and logistic regression uses a line to solve the problem. In the linear regression, the straight line is trying to fit itself on the data points. However, in logistic regression, the straight line is trying to divide perfectly between different classes of the data points. The second concept used here is logistic function. A logistic function is a type of exponential function which generally models the exponential growth. Mathematically, the logistic function can be expressed as the formula shown on your screen, where x0 is the x value of logit's midpoint, l is equal to the curve's maximum value, and k is equal to the logistic growth rate or steepness of the curve. A logistic function is a common S-shaped curve. The logistic function is mainly used in statistics, machine learning, and neural networks. Logistic function is used in logistic regression to model how the probability P of an event may be affected by one or more feature variables. The example model would be as below. P is equal to function of L a plus bx. 
where x is the feature variable, a and b are model parameters, and l is the standard logistic function. The third concept used here is sigmoid function. It is an exponential mathematical function having a characteristics that can take any real value and map it to the value between 0 and 1. This function's shape is like the letter S as well. The sigmoid function is a special case of logistic function discussed before where L is equal to 1, K is equal to 1 and X0 is equal to 0. On your screen, the image shows the mathematical formula for a sigmoid function. Given a probability P, the corresponding odds are calculated as P by 1 minus P. For example, if P is equal to 0 0.75, the odds are 3 to 1, which is calculated as 0 0.75 by 1 minus 0 0.75. The sigmoid function is simply the logarithm of the odds. Sigmoid x is equal to log of x by 1 minus x. In this tutorial, we are going to predict the likelihood of diabetes in a patient using his or her blood pressure and glucose level. Therefore, the independent variable or features is glucose level and blood pressure and the dependent variable or label is diabetes. A value of 1 indicates diabetes and 0 indicates no diabetes. A snapshot of the sample data is shown on the screen. Top 5 rows of the data with glucose, blood pressure and diabetes is displayed. Before proceeding for technical implementation, let's discuss one more important concept called decision boundary. One of the basic outcome of a logistic regression model is to determine a decision boundary. The decision boundary is a simple straight line for a binary classification problem. Note that this linear decision boundary for binary classification serves as baseline. The same approach can be applied for multi-class classification problems to find the decision boundary. In the diagram on your screen, the yellow line represents the decision boundary. This is because we can see the instances of green class and red class on each side of this line. Our intention while training a logistic regression model is to find a perfect decision boundary. The perfect decision boundary means it is drawn in such a way that all the green points are on one side and all the red points are on the other side of the boundary line in this particular case. The image on the screen shows a perfect decision boundary. I will use the following simple steps to implement the logistic regression model. We will start by importing the required libraries. Then we will load the data in pandas data frame. After that, we will visualize the data. Post that, we will separate the features and the label. Then we will split the data into train and test set. After that, we will instantiate the logistic regression model. Then we will train the logistic regression model. After that, we will predict using the trained logistic regression model. Finally, we will calculate the accuracy of the trained model. Let's get started. The Jupyter Notebook is up and running on your screen. In cell 1, we have imported required libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and sklearn. Note that we are importing train test split and logistic regression as well from sklearn. In cell 2, we are starting to load the data. Data is stored in CSV file named logistic regression classification data.csv. In cell 3, we are exploring the first 5 rows of the data. In cell 4, we are separating the features called glucose and blood pressure from the dependent variable called diabetes. The independent variable is stored as x and the dependent variable is stored as y. In cell 5, we split the data into train and test 
using sklearn train test split function. This is for preparing the training and testing data. In cell 6, we are creating the model instance by logistic regression class imported from sklearn. In cell 7, we are training the logistic regression model. Note that for training, we are using the fit method and passing X train and Y train values as parameter. In cell 8, we are predicting using the logistic regression model. For this, we are using predict method on the model and passing X test data as parameter. Finally, in cell 9, we are calculating the accuracy of the logistic regression model. This is implemented using accuracy underscore score method provided by sklearn. Therefore, we are able to train, predict and evaluate logistic regression machine learning model in Python using sklearn. We have come to the end of this tutorial. In this video, we successfully implemented a logistic regression machine learning algorithm using Python and sklearn library. Thank you so much for watching.